The bright lights, the packed stadium, the roaring crowd. Yep, you guessed it. A high school robotics competition. Teenagers come from far and wide. Uh, I'm Ben, I'm from England. With robots of all stripes. The competition is called First and we're at the New York Regional. The object of this year's game is to build a robot that will amass points by grabbing a big ball and circling the track or launching it above the bar. Points are also awarded for laps and for knocking the other team's ball off the rack. First was created by inventor and entrepreneur Dean Kamen, and in this arena, he takes on superhero status. I have a question. Yeah. Can you sign my arm? You gotta show up. Dean, can I have a hug? He's the rock star of first. He is. He is. That's why we have him on our puncher. We had the first robotics competition in 1992 from 20 some odd teams that competed in a single event in a high school gym in Manchester, New Hampshire in 1992. This year we have 41 cities all over the United States and the world and our finals this year aren't going to be in a high school gym. Our finals are in the home of the 1996 Olympics, the 72,000 seat Georgia Dome. All these robots are built from scratch. Teams are sent a box of bare essentials and the rules of that year's game, and then they have just six weeks to put together a functional robot. We never give them enough stuff in the kit. We never give them enough time to do the job. We never give them an idea of what's, quote, the right answer, because we design a game where there is no right answer, and we send them off. This is the president of the Brooklyn Technical High School team. Here's how he describes the process. You sit down and you just think, and then you write it on paper. You have, when I started, I had seven designs written down. We like to keep the building and design within four weeks, all right, so that we have two weeks to practice and modify. That's what we strive to do. Within a spending limit, you can customize and soup up your robot with secret weapons. I don't know if I could call them secret weapons. Uh, this team from Staten Island added special wheels, for example. We found that this is a common traction wheel, but they found this particular traction material that we use grips the carpet really well and allows our robot to be far more effective when it comes to, tra when it comes to driving this particular carpet. In addition to building the robot, a team also has to find sponsors. It costs ten to fifteen thousand dollars to compete. Once they get to the competition, a team is aligned with other teams. And this is random, right? Yes. yes, completely random. So this year we've actually had some pretty good alliances, which is good for us. Um, sometimes we don't, but we make it work anyway. Yeah. Once we know the alliance, we go over there, we get them together, we talk strategy, we know the plan. What's really important about this game is um, scouting and um, to know what your opponents or what your alliance members can do so you can talk strategy. Strategy is a huge part of this game. A lot of people don't realize that. And th that's why we made it so far in Connecticut, and that's why we're making it so far here, because we always have a strategy. We always talk with our Alliance members, and we, we um, see what the, the other team can do. Yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. Like with any hard-fought battle, sometimes there are upsets. I mean, like, honestly, I didn't even notice our lines out there. We got blocked. Yeah. Blocked. We got blocked because they started playing defense on us, and um, we couldn't really do anything. Nobody yeah. wins in a two-on-one. We had two robots just tugging away at us, and we were stuck to doing that. Well, um, but like, I'm really proud of what we did. We did we did it good. Even though we were blocked, we scored about 32, 34 points by ourselves. And don't worry, they tell me. They'll be back next year. I'm Flora Lichtman for Science Friday. <laughs>